Hello and welcome. This is Rufo Monger, and my friends, Evo Japan is almost upon us. Happening at the end of the month, 27th through the 29th specifically. There's not much of the month left here, but yeah, happening at the end of the month. And this is one of the big core events for the fighting game community. Evo Japan is a very big deal. The only thing that could be a bigger deal is Evo Prime, which will be later this year in Las Vegas. And here at Evo Japan, you can expect lots of great games and world-class competition, but also on the marketing end of things, which is what we're talking about in this video, you can also expect a lot of gameplay videos for games that maybe aren't out yet, and also a lot of fun reveals for DLC or add-ons to fighting games. And that's exactly what we're going to be talking about in this video. What exactly can we expect out of EVO Japan? Some things are a little bit more obvious, maybe some not as much, and some things have been a long time coming. So let's talk about it. Okay, let's talk the big one out of the gate here, because we've all been waiting forever at this point. Akuma, Street Fighter 6. It's happening. You know, we got this little teaser here that's over a month old at this point, and we all knew he was the one capping out season one of the game. And here we are, it's April 22nd as of the time I'm recording this, and we still don't have a gameplay trailer or a release date for the character, which means it's all but assured you will be seeing this saved for EVO Japan. And I'm sure the trailer will blow our minds. It'll be everything we ever hoped for. But yeah, we got to wait just a little bit longer because Evo Japan is the place where you're going to showcase your stuff. And for Street Fighter VI, what's next on the showcase list is, well, Akuma doing what he does best. Now, also the thing, obviously, after Akuma is Season 2. We've talked a lot about Season 2 on the channel. Will that be shown here as well? Or do we got to wait a bit longer for that? Maybe, just maybe, but for sure, Akuma is a lock for EVO Japan. Just gotta wait a little bit longer. Now, Arc System Works is gonna have a lot of representation going into EVO Japan as far as the tournaments are going, and of course, their games and reveals on site. So, Grand Blue Fantasy Versus is a pretty easy one to tell because we even have a proper roadmap for the releases. So you can see the release schedule here from January through May. Vayne is the character that just came out here not too long ago, and in May, we have the character Beatrix coming out. And May is not too far away from now, right? So, at the end of the given Grand Blue Fantasy vs. Tournament on site at Evil Japan, probably a safe bet you will see a trailer for Beatrix. Anything past that, hey, who knows, that's not a given, but since she's coming out in May and we know that for a fact, Evo Japan seems like a good place to showcase that character. Feels like a safe bet to me anyways. Now, that's not all Arc System Works will be cooking up. So Guilty Gear Strive is another main stage tournament game, and it's not much of a mystery. We know that season three of Guilty Gear Strive is wrapping up specifically. They even showed us a handy little trailer saying, hey, season four is coming because season three is wrapping up. Oh, and by the way, the last character of season three, hey, who knows, this vampire guy with bats could be anyone, I guess, right? It could even be this vampire guy with the bats, crazily enough. And yes, the last character of season three also comes out in May. So if you got a tournament at the end of April and the character comes out in the next month, probably a safe bet you can see Slayer or whoever it'll be, wink, wink, be announced at EVO Japan. Now, admittedly, rounding up our anime fighting games, this one's a bit more of a maybe. It's not a mystery that DLC is coming to Undernight in Birth 2. In fact, if you're an early supporter of the game, all that DLC is going to be free. The thing is, we know the dates, and Uzuki, who is our first DLC character, is not coming out until August. And that's far enough away that it might not be an EVO Japan thing. There's certainly other trade show opportunities, like, hey, maybe a trailer like the Summer Game Fest. The Jeff Keighley events have always proven very favorable and friendly to fighting games. But yeah, Izuki is coming 100%, but just far out enough that it might not be EVO Japan. Now, coming to another fairly safe bet, we have Tekken 8. So not too long ago, Eddie Gordo came out. And obviously, as far as Season 1 goes, there's going to be a lot more to come. The developers have actually been very forthcoming on the rough timeline of what is to come for Tekken 8. And one of the things that was uh, made very clear is the big balance patch. Not the little tweaks they've been doing so far, but the big balance patch will be after EVO Japan. 
And one of the good ways to uh, debut a new Big Balance patch would be with, say, a new character. Now, will that new character make its debut, at least, you know, trailer-wise at EVO Japan? I think yes, personally. You do your trailer and then drop them a little bit after the fact. Your third character sometime around the EVO time frame, fourth character around the holidays. And then, well, then next year after that, you got season two to worry about. Fits in with the rough timeline they already have given us. So say the second character here is announced at Evil Japan, they come out in June. And you might think that's quite a while, but Eddie Gordo was announced a long time ago uh, before he actually came out. He was announced even before the game proper came out. They have shown they're willing to do a long lead time for the DLC characters. It doesn't mean it's set in stone or anything, but usually the first point proves a pattern. I guess we'll find out. If there isn't DLC news for Tekken 8 at Evil Japan, though, I'll definitely say lots of people will be disappointed. Now, who could it be? Well, we got some ideas on that. Check the video description for the link, but we'll find out soon enough. Now, file and under under safe bet. We have SNK hitting Evo Japan strongly. The King of Fighters 15 is one of the official games of Evo Japan. And lots to been made, you know, about what is season three happening. If you saw the SNK World Championships, uh, it was basically a soft hint that yes, season three will happen. And this is basically the put up or shut up moment right here. If King of Fighters 15 season three isn't announced here at Evo Japan, I don't think it'll ever be announced. Because where else would you? What other kind of stage would you get if not here? Who knows? We'll find out, but just to put it out there. Now, another safer bet, though, is City of the Wolves. City of the Wolves is launching early next year, so we got to start moving the ball on this one. So we got to start doing the character trailers, more gameplay, all that. So a new City of the Wolves character trailer, I feel, is a very safe bet here. We certainly got a lot more characters to go. Hey. You know, I'm shilling other videos here. Check out character discussion video on City of the Wolves here in the video description. But yeah, we got to get the ball rolling and quick. So we got to start doing a lot of trailers really fast. And this is a great place to show a trailer. There's a lot of classic characters to show just yet that have not been revealed. Like my Shiranui, I think would play very well at Evo Japan. So King of Fighters Season 3, that's been up in the air for so long. I feel this is going to be the put up or shut up moment. Who knows? We'll find out. But... City of the Wolves, very safe bet. We'll find some trailers or other media or whatever on site. In fact, I do believe, I could be wrong, but I do believe it'll be playable on site as well. So regardless, expect a lot of media and a lot of gameplay. In fact, just to put it out there, if you're at Evo Japan and you can play Tzok, please tell me what's up. Because, you know, the footage that's out there doesn't tell me enough about Tzok. I need to know more. Now, speaking about things playable on site... Hunter Hunter Nan Impact will be playable on site at Evo Japan, and this will be the first time anyone's seen anything about the game. We got this trailer, which I've shown in like seven or eight videos. Now, I'm so sick of showing this trailer, but that's all there is about the game. We do know this is a proper three on three 2D fighting game. It's from the creators of Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Pretty good game. And it's been long anticipated, and we got exactly nothing to show for you until now. Looking forward to seeing the game, looking forward to seeing the gameplay, and I'll do my best to cover everything that comes out of EVO Japan, but just excited to see what this game's actually finally going to look like. And once we get all the gameplay, we can see how cool things are. Hopefully we also get a release date, especially for my purposes, as I said, because the game is a real fighting game and I hoped against hope it wouldn't be an arena fighter. I promised I'd watch the anime and I need to know a release date so I know a time I have to finish watching the anime by. And I'll find some way to put my thoughts on the anime as I watch it, maybe like a podcast or something. I haven't figured that out yet. Uh, you guys seem to like it and you seem to be excited for me to watch it. So hopefully I like it. It would sure suck if I didn't. And hopefully those Naruto and One Piece fighting games are far in the future. So I don't got to watch those anytime soon. But yeah, Hunter Hunter, finally, Evo Japan. Let's see what this game is about. Now, another game at Evo Japan that'll be playable on site, so we'll get tons of gameplay, is 2XKO. So you may remember this was playable on site at Evo Prime last year in Vegas. And also myself and some other very lucky people got to play it at the Riot headquarters last year. And this will be a different build than that. Because at bare minimum, Alawi will be fully playable and complete. Uh, when I did have hands-on time with the game last year, Alawi was playable, but she was very much unfinished. 
And I'll tell you right now, of the announced characters, Alawi is the one I'm absolutely the most excited for. So I'm very jealous people get to play it hands-on in Evil Japan because I want to see how different she is now compared to how she was last year. So uh, if you're there and you get the player, let me know, please. Thanks. So with all the gameplay coming out for that, and I'm sure there'll be like some gameplay differences. And if there's any major ones, I'll try to cover that in a video. It's just going to be interesting. Also, another game where just like City of the Wolves, we got to get the ball rolling because they did announce it's going to be launching next year. Now, City of the Wolves specifically, they state early next year. 2XKO is just nebulously next year, right? So who knows? But, you know, they got a lot of characters. They have not shown many characters just yet, right? There's a lot of characters to have reveals, trailers, all that kind of stuff. More gameplay, all that. Also, they promised there'll be betas, and that might be sometime this year. So, basically, they got to start announcing stuff. And if you're at Evo Japan already, that'd probably be a pretty good place to announce something. No guarantees, but it's a pretty good spot to do it. And, of course, when it comes to showcasing, you know, a big product, a big reveal at Evo Japan... What's bigger than an all new game? Now, there could be many things we just don't know about, right? We can't really know the unknown, so we're not going to worry about that. But there is one known factor, and that is a new Virtua Fighter. Now, I'm well known as one of the VF Hopium guys, and I have been for a very long time. But what I'm telling you is not Hopium. This is not a maybe. This is not speculation. This is happening. If you don't know what I'm talking about, hey, check the video description. Once again, this is not a maybe, it's simply a matter of when. From the impeccable source that put all this out to begin with, it has been made clear that the new Virtual Fighter will be revealed sometime this year. And as a franchise, you know, Virtual Fighter's always been a very Japan-heavy, Japan-focused game. So if you're gonna announce it anywhere, Evo Japan is a pretty good bet. Now, keeping with the Japan focus, it could be other places like, say, the Tokyo Game Show that is in later in the year in September, right? But Evo, pretty big deal. Fighting game specific, big deal. Last year specifically, Virtua Fighter V Ultimate Showdown was a featured game at Evo Japan. So the connections are already there, right? It's been a very, very long time since the last proper numbered Virtua Fighter game. We're ready. We know it's happening. We're just waiting for the announcement. And it would be pretty swell if that announcement was at EVO Japan. So yeah, as far as, you know, announcements, trailers, reveals, all that kind of stuff, lots of things are potentially going down at EVO Japan this year. And of course, let's not forget, there will also be world-class gameplay. If you're here to just watch some good fighting game matches being played, this will be a pretty good place to do so. When you have really big tournaments like this, there's always going to be hype moments and super memorable moments. And the trailers, announcements, and all that, they're just icing on the top of the cake. So make sure to tune in. And of course, naturally on the channel, anything that happens, uh, as far as, you know, big moments or big reveals or big announcements, all that kind of stuff, I will do my best to cover everything on the channel. So keep tuned, because I think there's going to be some pretty fun stuff on site. That all said, though, we're at the end of the video. So thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has found you well. And go out and play some fighting games.